If you're looking to keep your shoulders healthy and strong, save this video. We're going to be going over a strengthening exercise for your shoulders, but we're also going to include some warm ups with a band that's going to help you prep your shoulders for the dumbbell work that we're going to be doing. All right, so let's get started. You're going to start off with a band here. We'll be using a bench and a dumbbell a little bit later, but let's start off with a band. This is a Rogue red band. This is less resistance than the blue band from Rogue. I recommend starting with the red. You guys can check them in the link below. First exercise, we're actually going to do a banded tricep stretch. So I'm going to step on the band, bend the leg, middle of the foot, arch will be on the band and I'll straighten the arm out. Notice here that I'm trying to have my opposite hand, grab my elbow tricep and pull it back. You're going to hold here for 30 seconds. Try to avoid pushing the head forward and keep more of a neutral spine and then just use your opposite hand to pull that band back. 30 seconds and then we'll switch opposite side. Same thing, bending the arm. Tricep extended here. I'm grabbing the elbow. 30 seconds there. If you need to modify to 15, 20 seconds, that's fine. Second exercise to help strengthen the shoulders. We're going to warm up first with the stretch. I'm going to grab the base ends of the band, twist my arm behind me. I'm going to pull this band as high as I can, trying to get my wrist as high as I can between my shoulder blades on my just go shirt that you guys can see here. So I'm using this as resistance here. I'm trying to pull my shoulder back, tuck my elbow underneath versus letting it go forward like so. If you're really tight and you're here, that's okay. We'll eventually get to the point where it's less tight. 30 seconds here, and then you will perform the same exact thing on the opposite side. Something to note, I also like to hold the band with my chin as I adjust because it's a little hard on my right side. Notice my right side's tighter here. So that leads me to my next point. Notice what side is tighter. If your right arm is tighter, I recommend starting with your right arm. Left arm is tighter, recommend starting your left arm. 30 seconds here. This is the internal rotation banded stretch. This is a great exercise. I incorporate it into my routine as well as the clients that I work with and do remote coaching on. All right, next exercise, 30 seconds of banded pull aparts. Arms are out in front of you. Long arms here, so straight arms versus bent. Squish my shoulder blades together pull the part, the band apart, keeping the band below my collarbone here. 30 seconds. Then we're going to go overhead. Think of arms again, that long position here. So think of a martini glass, nice and straight arms. I'm going to pull the band down to my traps, upper neck. Same thing here. 30 seconds of those exercises. Last two, we're going to do around the world. So say I take my right arm, I'm going to go around the world one direction. So my right arm will go first, left arm will lead, follow, excuse me, right arm leads, left arm follows. 30 seconds one direction, then you'll switch, 30 seconds the other direction. Once you finish that, shoulders should feel pretty good. If you're pressed for time, stay with the run round. If you want some additional time, if you have plenty of time and you wanna do another round, go for two rounds. Again, this is a rogue fitness band. You can check them out in the link below. Recommend the red one versus the blue one just as you're starting out. If you want more resistance, you can go to the blue. All right, so for today's strengthening exercises for the shoulders, this is gonna help strengthen specifically external rotation. So this is a dumbbell external rotation exercise. Obviously, it will help internal rotation because you're going nice and slow and controlled. I'm gonna show without the dumbbell, then we'll get started. Sitting on my sit bones, nice and tall, opposite hand behind me. Elbow will come to the instep of my knee. Dumbbell will be in my palm eventually, wrist over elbow. I'm gonna rotate all the way down, nice controlled, and then return to that starting position. You'll perform five on your left side, then you'll switch five on the right side. So I'll kind of show from a back angle as well. So from here, I'm sitting tall, dumbbell over wrist, slowly rotate down, and then back to the top position. Five repetitions on one shoulder. I recommend starting on the weaker shoulder. So I'm gonna start on my right shoulder today. That was four, I believe and then five. Now I'm just gonna show you guys kind of from a back angle here, hopefully you guys can see. Entropy is also drinking water, so you might hear her slopping some water up. All right, so same thing here, kind of different angle. I'm gonna rotate, pivot my arm down, controlled, and then back up. Recommend starting with light load. This is a 10 pound dumbbell. I actually started with two and a half pounds a long time ago. Not a long time, three years ago. Um, I started with two and a half and eventually got to a five pound and now eventually to 10. You can change the rep scheme a little bit, but for today's focus, we're working on strengthening the exercise. So we wanna stay at those five sets at five reps, right? Same weight across the board. Start with light weight, two and a half pounds, maybe even one pound if you need to. Perform those five repetitions on one shoulder perform the other five on the other shoulder. Now, if you like a little bit of rest, give yourself 30 seconds to a minute rest. 
I typically will go back to back. Maybe I'll do a suit, um, an interjection of an other exercise, maybe something core or my hip exercises to keep my body healthy. But you can go back to back if you like. Five sets of five exercises with the light load. So incorporate these exercises to keep your shoulders healthy, to strengthen them. This is also going to help open up the shoulders as well because we did, we did the internal stretch, which is going to help release the tightness of the shoulder. Now that's not obviously going to be the go-to, but the consistency each day will be very helpful for you. Please share this with others if this was beneficial and helpful for yourself. I hope to inspire other people out there to take their health and fitness as a priority and give them the tools and tricks that they need to essentially start their fitness journey or keep their fitness journey going. Thank you guys for tuning in.